Welcome back, Ram fans. I am going to share with you my fearsome four keys to victory for our Los Angeles Rams as they head to Detroit for this wild card matchup. Jared Goff versus Matthew Stafford. This is going to be a lot of fun. Probably the best game on this slate for the opening weekend of the NFL playoffs. And what are my keys to victory for the Rams? Well, fearsome key number one, our secondary needs to hold up. This is a very talented Detroit Lions offense, great offensive line. They usually get, give Jared Goff plenty of time. He's got some weapons there, even though Sam Laporta might not be able to go. And our defense, our secondary, has been giving up some chunk plays uh, over the top, getting beat. I'm not worried about Akella Witherspoon. He's been doing a good job. Quentin Lake playing that star position, covering slot receivers, been doing a good job as well. I'm a little bit worried about Kobe Durant and uh, Darion Kendrick um, getting beat over the top. Neither of them are really reliable, in my opinion, especially Kendrick. Flashes really good play at times, and then he gets beat, commits a penalty, so that's what we need to be worried about. Our secondary has to be at the top of their game, especially with Jordan Fuller out, possibly out anyways. And Russ East will probably take his role. So this secondary is generally just an average okay secondary, and they have to be at the top of their game against this Lions passing attack. Uh, they need to hold up. Hey, they're going to give up some plays. Jared Goff is going to get his yards and he's probably going to get his TD or two, but the, the secondary can't just play really poorly and give up these, uh, get beat deep and give up easy touchdowns like they have been over the last half of this season. Here's some key number two. We got to make Goff uncomfortable. Again, this is a really good offensive line they have. Uh, don't give up a lot of sacks, but you don't have to sack Jared Goff. Uh, it'd be great if we could get to him a time or two. But we got to make him uncomfortable. Don't let him just stand in the pocket and, and step into his throws. If we allow him to do that over and over again, he's going to slice and dice the secondary. So Kobe Turner, Aaron Donald, Byron Young, uh, Michael Hoyt, all these guys got to find a way to condense that pocket and make him a little bit uncomfortable. We've, we're all familiar with what happens with Jared Goff uh, when he feels the heat in the pocket. Hey, I'm a big Jared Goff fan. I really appreciate what he's done over the years with the Rams and with the Lions. But if he has that Achilles heel, it's uh, under duress. Uh, he turns the ball over, uh, makes bad throws. But if you give him time in that pocket, he's a deadly quarterback. So those are the two things we got to take care of from a, a defensive perspective. What about on offense? Now, a lot of people are going to that, you know, the uh, the standard um, factor in a game like this. You got to run the ball. You got to run the ball, establish the run. This is a pretty good run defense the Lions have. Their secondary, uh, their pass defense is, is pretty weak, and you can take advantage of it. So I'm going to go the other way on this. I want the Rams to move the ball through the air primarily, but they can't become one-dimensional. Uh, they got to lean on Kyron Williams a little bit. They'll get their yards on the ground. They're going to have to get their yards on the ground, too. They can't just have Matthew Stafford dropping back and chucking the ball all over the field. Um, you know, I this it's not that the Lions are going to get to Stafford and, uh, you know, bring a you know, they don't get a lot of sacks other than Aiden Hutchinson. He's about the only guy that you really need to worry about is from a pass rush perspective. But they can't become pass happy like uh, Sean McVay has in the past at times. Got to get Kyron Williams involved. Could be the, the you know, maybe after you get the pass established, go to Kyron Williams. I don't think it's a good plan to just try to establish the run right off, right off the top of this game. But, don't be, but at the same time, don't become one-dimensional. Don't be afraid to turn to that run when you need to. And the last thing, you know, our special teams, you know, I, I don't know what to say about it. I'm primarily talking about our field goal kicker, Brett Maurer, and what we're going to do there. Um, you know, on the one hand, you know, you always want to 
cash in on your red zone opportunities and not settle for field goals. But this game, it could be even more critical. And so I'm kind of torn. You know, if we're uh, facing a fourth and four from the Lions 31, do we kick the field goal? Or, you know, that's going to be pretty stressful <laughs> with the way what we've seen from our kicking game uh, this entire season. Or do we go for it? And my vote is, hey, let's just go for it. You know, those situations, that's going to be pretty stressful in itself. But I, I think I'd rather try to uh, move the ball, move the chains on fourth and four from the, you know, you're in the 30, 32, 35 yard line area against the Lions, maybe even closer. Just go for it. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just not real keen on leaning on Brett Maurer in this game. So that the key here is to not settle for field goals. And if that means going for it on fourth and three, fourth and four, dare I say fourth and seven, that's what we're going to need to do. Just not thrilled with the idea of kicking even mid-range field goals. Brett Maurer's probably okay, you know, 35 to 40 yards, but still just scares me. Uh, if we could uh, cash in, uh, convert a couple of fourth downs in Lions territory, that could be a real big key to this game. If we kick the field goals, oh man, <laughs> let's make a couple of them. Is that too much to ask from our kicking game from Brett Maurer? Those are my fearsome four keys to victory for our Los Angeles Rams. And as I shared on the podcast, well, actually it hasn't published yet, but I will be sharing on the podcast my prediction Rams 35, Lions 24. And that 35, that's right, it's five times seven. No field goals. No field goals for us this week. It's all about the touchdowns and the Rams advance to the divisional round. Check out the podcast. We have a lot of other good stuff on there as well. We had a crossover segment with a Lions podcaster. We also had a really good round table with Ian Martinez, Paul Wally, and Tom Courts. Lots of good stuff. Check it out. Out here for now from Rams Up.